Hey guys, and welcome to Face Air Software. Today I'm going to be unboxing this Double Eagle M904E. Hey guys, and welcome back. If you do enjoy this content today, please do consider liking, commenting, and subscribing because those interactions really help me get seen by the YouTube algorithm and that helps me my uh, channel to grow if you do want to support the channel a little bit more memberships are open just 99 pence a month click the join button totally optional massively uh, appreciated if you do uh, and you will get access to custom members only videos private chat on my discord and your own giveaways uh, as well uh, really appreciate if people did do that but again totally optional and last but not least there is a uh, link tree link down below in the description that will take you to all of my socials and my discord which is a great community if you haven't joined it yet please do come along so i've got here then the uh, double eagle m904e now i was really lucky enough to be shopping on black friday um in a shopping center board waiting for my wife to come out the changing rooms and uh, basically bought some tickets for lucky pew and <laughs> completely forgot on the sunday evening the live draw was made and i actually won this little bad boy still didn't know until the monday until i got a text message telling me that my parcel from lucky pew was coming at which point then i had to backtrack through to uh, their facebook page and watch the uh, the live draw recorded uh, to find out what i'd won and i was chuffed to bits that i've won this little beauty uh, i can't sing the praises enough of these as a uh, budget but excellent quality well beyond their cost um setup basically so this is the third different box that we have seen from them uh, and it's the mask man apparently this particular model but it is the m904e it tells me there uh, from double eagle with the falcon control system in it which is their uh, effectively clone of gate titan in it so we'll get that open and get this slid out So, pull out box. There is our manual for programming. Little target as well in English, uh, in English and Polish. Maintenance, quite a nice little manual in there showing you how to attach uh, accessories and things. It's quite nice. I'm quite happy with that. Um, get that out of the way some foam in there there she is now isn't that a beautiful looking piece i have grown really quite attracted to these i absolutely love them loving the fact that it's got the uh, ar style stock on there which i'll discuss uh, shortly why in particular um nice solid relatively light though uh but like no movement honestly you know double eagle of old is done and gone the new double eagle are absolutely smashing it with what they're putting out and they've got some great stuff coming out of late so we've got a metal high cap mag there i've got a cleaning unjamming rod stuck down there and then we've got a box of accessories as well so let's have a look at what's in here so ooh, silica gel uh so that is quite nice we've got ooh, an adapter to convert it from Deans to Mini Tamiya if you don't have any Deans batteries, that's good. We've got an Allen key, I assume that's for those bolts. Yes, it is, that's quite a nice touch. And then what is possibly one of the coolest things I've seen, I will link to the video of removing this handguard, but a little spanner for removing the handguard nut. That, absolute stroke of genius that massively appreciated double eagle if you do see this or you have seen this uh, that is a nice touch to do like that they also give you another deans to solder onto a battery to convert a battery to use with this i am liking that nice little touches like that just sort of make it a little bit better so get the box out of the way So there it is. So this is quite a short, uh, compact version of it uh, with an adjustable stop as well. Um, let's have a look how many positions that is. That is a six position stop. We'll look at that more in a moment. That was actually surprisingly easy to take off. So we've got a polymer foregrip with a quite chunky, I do quite like that muzzle brake there. 
Now that is threading on the outside of there. I'm not sure what diameter that is. It's pretty, pretty chunky. I'm going to make a rough guesstimate. It's about 22 mil. That's about 22 mil and it looks like it's a positive thread. Uh, but that is grub screwed on and there will be a 14 mil negative under there. You've got a metal uh, outer barrel in there. You've got your um, polymer M-lock handguard. Uh, quite a short diddy one. It's really nice and compact and nice to show. This for me is like the perfect sort of length and setup that you've got. It's really nice and, and, and compact in the stock, but it's secure to stock. Uh, getting to your shoulder pistol grips really nice and comfortable as well and textured will come back do you know what i'm skipping ahead i'm getting excited already uh, so you've got your polymer handguard with your rail all the way along the top that's all matched up as well which is quite nice you've got your flip up adjustable sights um, which can be uh, adjusted to suit and different modes as well depending on what you need is it night day mode and night mode i think or something like that uh, off a day shooting, night shooting, flip those back down. Those do come off easily with a screw at each end. Then onto the receiver then, we've got, again, nylon receiver, but I'm not really feeling any sort of motion or movement in that at all, considering it is just plastic, it is solid. Now let's pull open the charging handle. I don't know if, you know, the bolt stop is not a functioning bolt stop. So it is going to have to be holding the charging handle open to access the hop unit and it is a roll down to add hop. Now it's a, not a clicker type but it is firm which is good because we want we want it to be a firm adjust. It means it's more likely to hold its hop position uh, while shooting and not unwind. But moving along then, the charging handle, I do like that. That's quite a nice styled charging handle there. Not quite the satisfying sound that you might get from a metal receiver um, AEG, but still quite nice to pull and let go. Slightly flared mag well, just to make it a little bit easier that when you catch the mag in there, it will locate. And that mag does click in really nice and easy. I do think it look nice for some like sort of um, Magpul style mags would look good in there because the, the, the receiver itself obviously got sort of like a futuristic style um, trim into it. We've then also got ambidextrous selectors, which are metal, and both can move the other one quite comfortably. The pistol grip then is really nicely textured as well, which is nice to grip, and especially with gloves, that is not going to move about easily. Um, a slightly seat like that, nice touch, slightly enhanced mag release button, just making it that little bit easier just to get your finger on there and drop that mag out, uh, and off you go. Uh, now, the stock then, so a six position stock, I like that style of stock. The battery is in the stock too, which for some people, it's a little bit loose just to uh, watch out for that. Some people um, won't like that, other people will be fine. It does make it easy though, that if you want to put your AR stock of choice on there, you can put what you like on there. So a crane stock on there will be perfect for larger LiPo types. Um, because it's got this back end on it, it means that you can put things like ID, I suppose, um, a, a solid stock on there and things. The other type of the tanker type stock where the, the track runs up and down here cannot take an AR style stock tube on without having that adapter basically. So for me, this is the better option um, in terms of if you're going to get one of these in terms of stocks. That is maybe one thing that possibly would be nice if it came in the little box of extras in there, uh, but just you know, sort of just something to think about. It's not a deal breaker or anything. I absolutely adore these things, um, but it's just something to think about. The stock, a little bit of wobble, as you would expect in a stock, but there's no real, real movement in there. They are absolutely rock solid. Uh, this is the third one now that I have unboxed and been thoroughly pleased uh, with. There we go, I've got the stocks up there. It is wired to Dean's as well, which is really nice. And there is a MOSFET in there. Um, so the MOSFET, as we've seen before, is based off the Gate Titan. So if you have got uh, a choice of uh, burst mode instead of auto, and I think that's configurable. Trigger sensitivity as well, and binary trigger, and a flat trigger as well already installed. It 
literally brilliant. They're clearly listening to what people want and they've gone all out with it. So I've been really, really impressed. So what I'll do is I'll go and do the range check, the chrono and the uh, rate of fire check and then we'll come back and see where we are. And I am back. So I am pleased to say um, it is keeping up with uh, appearances in terms of the previous two. The range out of the back box easily over 40 meters without any question of a doubt. Uh, I couldn't tell you much further than that just because you kind of lose sight of the BBs, but it's definitely getting well beyond the 40 meter tree uh, that I'm shooting at. FPS wise, it is doing 400 to 410 FPS. My chrono was playing up a little bit. Uh, it just seems to be registering shots that are not actually there. Uh, but we did get the 400 to 400 FPS um, reading out of there. At 400 to 408 FPS reading out of it. Um, rate of fire then. Uh, you see, I think part of this is down to the fact that it is got a, a strong spring in there. So we're getting about 9 rounds per second on a 7.4 volt. A little bit like... But it only takes one BB to kill somebody. Um, on an 8.4 nim type battery um, we're getting about 10 rounds a second or thereabouts on a 9.6 it started to come alive a little bit and we got a 12 uh, rounds per second now i wouldn't advise running them on nims just because i'm not sure that the uh, mosfet will deal with that very uh, well the etu uh, and then last but not least 11.1 we're getting about 15 rounds per second still not great but i think in terms of uk uh, limits once it's put down to 350 fps it will definitely run um, a little bit higher than that, a little bit faster. I would expect a couple of rounds per second faster on, on each of those things. I'd expect probably more along the lines of 10 to 12 on 7.4, uh, 12 to 14 on 8.4, 14 to 16 maybe on 9.6, and probably about 18 on an 11.1. But performance-wise, I am pretty damn happy with it. Um, it is a lovely, lovely piece of kit. Um, it just... I literally cannot sing the, the praises highly enough. So they sell for about 160-ish pounds in the UK. And they are just so worth the, the money. The barrel's really good quality. The hot rubber's pretty good out of the box. Uh, high cap mag, the couple of accessories, the fact that it's a MOSFET, a programmable MOSFET at that. Really solid polymer. Um, you know, just such a great little piece of kit. So much value in this. Um, to the point where I'm, I'm probably going to say that I, find, I think the better quality, better value for money than the SEMA sort of 500 range, which are good and I still really like them. But just for that extra bit of money, you are potentially getting like in the UK, there's like 60 pounds difference between the SEMA 
500 series and this. You know, if you've got that money, then I would consider getting it because you're getting a hell of a lot more gun for not a lot more money. Um, so absolutely brilliant pieces of kit. So next thing I'm gonna do is the gloved operation. We are in the middle of a bit of a renovation at home. So I can't actually find uh, my um, normal brown gloves. If you have seen the KWA T10 unboxing, or when the Cybergun AK unboxing comes out, all of those were filmed on the same day, which is why I couldn't find the gloves. It's all identical. Anyway, so normal use then, the front sights, I can definitely, uh, the front sights, I can definitely mess with those. Charging handle, yes. Doing the hop, yes, but I can't tell how much I've adjusted it because of gloves, normal issue. The selector, absolutely fine. I was absolutely right, the pistol grip is so comfortable and grippy on my hand. There's no slip unless I'm really ragging at it. The trigger, nice to pull and easy. The stock itself, uh, just I did forget to mention that the um, stock tube is metal and the stock itself is nylon. Magazine, easy enough in and out. That enlarge button does make it even easier. There goes the mag, scratching it up. Uh, and I could quite easily do that. Can I get the stock off? Yes, I can quite easily, so I could change the battery. For me, in this particular model, this battery space is the only issue uh, that I can really complain about. And as long as you get a little stick type LiPo, you'll be absolutely fine. You could put a crane stock LiPo on there and that would um, obviously carry a bigger cell for you. Maybe even go whole hog and put like a, an M16 style solid stock on there. Um, I just, I can't recommend these highly enough. Uh, they're quite a big following on my Discord now. Quite a few people on there have them. Anzu on my Discord will recommend them to everybody all the time for everything because they are just so good. Um, they are such good value for money pieces of kit. So I hope that's been helpful to you. I hope you've enjoyed that. I certainly have. Uh, please do remember to like, comment and subscribe because that's going to help me see get seen by the YouTube algorithms and help the channel grow. I'll leave the usual photos after this and I will see you next time. Bye.